Welcome to Psych IQ. In this video, we're diving into the intriguing world of INFJs, specifically the distinctions between two subcategories INFJA and INFJT. 1. INFJA, the assertive advocate. One of the defining features of an INFJA is their confidence and self assuredness. These individuals have a deep sense of belief in themselves and their abilities. They tend to approach life with a level of certainty that sets them apart from others in the INFJ category. INFJs are known for their assertiveness when it comes to decision making. They trust their intuition and judgment, which often allows them to make choices with less hesitation and self doubt compared to other INFJ subcategories. These individuals exhibit remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. Challenges and setbacks do not deter them easily. They possess the strength to weather difficult times, maintaining their composure and adaptability. INFJs tend to have a more optimistic outlook on life. They often see opportunities even in adversity and approach challenges with a positive mindset. This optimism can be infectious, inspiring those around them to view the world with a similar hopeful perspective. Whether it's about their values, beliefs, or principles, INFJs have confidence in their convictions. They are less likely to waver in their stance, making them resolute advocates for the causes and beliefs they hold dear. Their assertive nature often translates into effective communication. They are skilled at articulating their thoughts, feelings, and ideas with clarity and conviction. This ability makes them influential communicators, able to express their thoughts in a way that resonates with others. INFJs often exhibit leadership potential. Their self-assuredness and ability to make confident decisions can position them as natural leaders in various settings, whether in their personal lives or professional careers. While the assertiveness of INFJs is undoubtedly a strength, finding a balance is essential. They must be mindful not to come across as overly dominant or dismissive of others' perspectives. Encouraging open dialogue and collaboration is key to fostering healthy relationships. 2. INFJT, the turbulent advocate. One of the defining characteristics of an INFJT is their tendency to grapple with self-doubt and anxiety. They often question their decisions and abilities, sometimes to a point of self-imposed pressure. INFJTS are more likely to exhibit perfectionistic tendencies. They set high standards for themselves and may find it challenging to accept imperfections in their work or personal life. This drive for perfection can both be a strength and a source of stress. Individuals falling into this category are often more sensitive to stressors. They may find it challenging to manage stress and may be more susceptible to its negative effects on their mental and emotional well-being. Despite their struggles, INFJTS maintain a strong sense of emotional resonance with others. They can easily pick up on the moods and feelings of those they interact with, sometimes even before these individuals fully realize their own emotions. This emotional resonance allows them to connect on a deep and meaningful level with others, fostering a sense of understanding and emotional support. In addition to their emotional resonance, INFJTS possess a keen sense of intuition. They have an uncanny ability to read between the lines, picking up on subtle cues and unspoken emotions. This intuitive insight enables them to offer guidance and support that goes beyond surface-level issues, delving into the root causes of problems. While the challenges of self-doubt and perfectionism may be significant, INFJTS often embark on a path of self-reflection and personal growth. They recognize their tendencies and work toward managing them, aiming for a more balanced and fulfilling life. Finding a balance between their perfectionistic tendencies and the desire for personal growth is essential for INFJTS. Embracing self-acceptance and seeking support when needed can be instrumental in their journey toward equilibrium. In conclusion, INFJTS, the turbulent advocates, are characterized by their self-doubt, perfectionism, and sensitivity to stress. However, they also possess the remarkable ability to connect with others on a deep emotional level and offer insightful guidance. Understanding these qualities can lead to greater self-awareness and personal growth, enabling them to make a positive impact on the world. INFJTS, the turbulent advocates, bring a unique set of qualities to the INFJ personality type. 
If you resonate with these traits or have insights to share about your experiences as an INFJT, please consider liking, sharing, and leaving your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to PsychIQ for more thought-provoking content on psychology, personality types, and the intricate facets of human behavior. Your support is greatly appreciated. 3. Finding Balance Understanding the differences between INFJ and INFJT is not about labeling individuals but about recognizing that people within the same personality type can have variations in how they approach life. Both categories have their strengths and weaknesses, and there's no inherently better or worse category. It's about finding the right balance and embracing one's unique qualities. 1. Defining balance. Balance, in its simplest form, refers to a state of equilibrium or harmony. It's the art of maintaining a stable and fulfilling life while managing various aspects such as work, relationships, personal growth, and self-care. For individuals with different personality traits like INFJA and INFJT, finding this balance may require unique approaches. INFJAs, the assertive advocates, often have confidence, assertiveness, and resilience. To maintain balance, they should be mindful of not becoming overly dominant or dismissive of others' perspectives. Encouraging open dialogue and collaboration can foster healthy relationships. INFJTS, the turbulent advocates, may struggle with self-doubt and perfectionism. Achieving balance involves recognizing these tendencies and embracing self-acceptance. Seeking support when needed and focusing on personal growth can help them navigate life's challenges. Self-care is a vital element in achieving balance. It involves taking time for activities and practices that rejuvenate the mind, body, and soul. Both INFJA and INFJT individuals can benefit from self-care to recharge and manage stress. Balancing relationships is crucial. It entails fostering open communication, active listening, and empathy, irrespective of whether you lean towards INFJA or INFJT, healthy connections contribute significantly to life satisfaction and equilibrium. The balance between work and personal life is essential for overall well-being. Both INFJ subcategories can work on time management, setting boundaries, and prioritizing tasks to maintain this balance. For impact on relationships. These differences can impact how INFJs interact with others and navigate their relationships. An INFJ may be more confident and less likely to second-guess decisions, which can contribute to effective communication and problem-solving. On the other hand, an INFJT may benefit from support and understanding in managing self-doubt and perfectionism. 5. Self-Acceptance and Growth Understanding whether you lean more towards INFJA or INFJT can be a valuable tool for self-acceptance and personal growth. Recognizing one's natural tendencies and areas for improvement can lead to a more fulfilling and balanced life. 6. Conclusion in conclusion, the differences between INFJ and INFJT reflect variations in assertiveness, confidence, stress management, and perfectionism within the INFJ personality type. Understanding these distinctions can lead to greater self-awareness, self-acceptance, and personal growth. It's essential to recognize that neither category is superior to the other, both have their unique strengths and areas for development. The differentiation between INFJA and INFJT provides a deeper understanding of the multifaceted INFJ personality type. If you found this segment enlightening or have insights to share about your own experiences as an INFJA or INFJT, please consider liking, sharing, and leaving your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to PsychIQ for more thought-provoking content on psychology, personality types, and the intriguing facets of human behavior. Your support is greatly appreciated.